Hello. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wasn't really feeling much, uh, I wasn't really feeling tired. So here I am. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a short stream, uh, because I know I'm going to get tired at some point. Uh, but god, the music that the OC Remix has for Octopath Traveler is so good. That second track, oh, such a banger. The uh, At Finis Gate. Woo. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and pause the music. And head into the game. Also, uh, I forgot to close <laughs> OBS all night. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> say hello to last night's stream. I got on and I was like, oh, uh, right. <laughs> so let's go ahead. get 
getting started. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy. I mean, we gotta get all eight people, right? So we might as well go ahead and uh, you know, snag him. Hmm. Yes, I think I know now who stole that tome. Perhaps I should go have a little chat with him, just to make sure we all understand one another. His name is Cyrus, and he is a scholar. This is Atlas Dam, nestled in the fertile plains of the Fatland. <laughs> Fatlands. The Flatlands. It is his home to the Royal Academy, where many a scholar studies night and day to bring the light of knowledge to the royal family and to all the realm. He passes his days in the halls of the Great Library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous theft, certain that one of his fellow scholars is the culprit. Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man. In his shadowy subterranean study, he will need wise allies on the path he has chosen. All right, here we go. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. Oh yeah? But there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? Therese. <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. That is correct. Uh, yeah, Hornberg is the uh, is the city state that Oberich was from. Hornberg was ruled over by a royal family said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? The histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandfort invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandfort sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. All right, class is over. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. Yeah. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. 
Yeah, Therese. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Hello? Ah, Professor Albright. Mercedes from the Royal Library came by with a message for you. Seems today's your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Splendid! Finally, I can begin my research. The library is just outside the palace. I'd best make haste. I kind of wish I was good enough to be a voice actor. Oh. My voice isn't clear or good enough. <laughs> Profess. Professor Albright. Oh no. Oh, thank heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Your Highness. What can I do for you, Your Highness? The truth of the matter is... If you can spare the time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of course! Your Highness, it would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm-hmm. After all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Indeed. Yes, Professor. It will not take long. I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornburg. Pray tell, what did they worship? Very astute of you. A very astute question, your highness. However, I fear that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when Hornburg fell. Huh? I see. A shame that. The truth is... I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornburg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is, no, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that... Oh. Uh, poor Therese. She's just a shy little girl. Let us continue the discussion another time. My apologies for keeping you, Professor. With pleasure. No need for apologies, and it would be my pleasure, Your Highness. Lights! Hello! Good morning. I was not expecting to see you at this time. <laughs> I hope you slept well. That such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. I thank you. Your lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. It's great to see you. I still haven't heard anything about the emote, unfortunately. I was hoping I would hear something. Uh, apparently, uh, the artist, when she streams, she has her stuff set to private, so... 
Uh, she did stream last night, but I don't know what she streamed because she was streaming when I was streaming. <laughs> so, uh, whoops. <laughs> But she hasn't said anything in the Discord either, so I'll just wait patiently. For if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Indeed. A most admirable philosophy, your highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. As I am truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. You are far too kind, Professor Albright. I am proud to be your student. Ah. Oh dear, I'm running late. Good day. Pray do not forget your assignment, Your Highness. Farewell. Of course, Professor. Oh, hello there, Therese. Yes, do you have a question for me? Oh, I, I mean, I guess he basically said it. <laughs> I, I mean, no. Good day, Professor. Mm -hmm. She must like him. No, there was a chest in there. Let me get it. Chest is mine. I'm glad I went this way. Oh, the chest belonged to me. Nothing in there? All right. I hope me streaming at this time does not distract you from anything that you are doing this morning, lights. <laughs> it was uh, an impromptu. Oh, good. <laughs> it's me, Cyrus. But still, I would feel bad if you mess up on something or don't get something. Excuse me. Don't get something done. Good day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright, here to browse the special archives. <laughs> oh, Professor Albright. You're looking quite eager today. Mm-hmm. When I heard that an original copy of the Church of the Flame, a complete history, had been donated to our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. I see. You're more on top of our collection than I am. Just sign here. With pleasure. Is something amiss? Actually, for someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy, <laughs> when you talk about books, you are as giddy as a schoolboy. <laughs> When you put it that way, yes. Much as a child is fascinated by a new toy. 
I am titillated by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. I see. Right. The expression on your face says it all. Anyway, everything seems to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. Many thanks. My dear, I most certainly will. We hear. Why do they have to like copy paste the bookshelves? Made none of them look different. <laughs> Ah, uh, you missed the banger songs earlier. Lights. When the stream was starting. They were actually really good. They were remixes of the uh, Octopath Traveler OST. How odd. The tome is nowhere to be found. Did someone return it to the wrong shelf? Hmm. Not here either. An interesting dilemma. These archives are strictly guarded and curated. Wherever could it have gone? Professor Albright. The headmaster will see you at once. <sighs> of all the times to. Oh, well. Might I ask you of a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth is... The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. Missing? Huh. I'll begin looking at once, Professor. Many thanks. My dear. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. Oh no, his name is Yevin. I've played enough Final Fantasy X to know where this is going. Or is it Ivan? My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Uh, here we go. Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archive. Oh. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. Here we go. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. Look at that, there's so much wind in this room that his fucking robe at the bottom is moving. He's powering up. <laughs> but that goes against everything. Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. It's so windy inside. <laughs> and imagine walking around in a robe with nothing underneath and be like, ooh, man, such a draft. <laughs> the headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone, something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An 
unfortunate attitude indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait, there was one last thing. Didn't even get to take a step back. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. Enter. Enter. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I think that's Therese. What's the matter? Yes. What is it? Therese? Mm. Uh, um. It's... It's about Professor Albright, sir. Wait, is she bringing up false allegations? I'm telling you, I did not touch that book that way. Can I help you? Ah, Professor Albright. A moment of your time. Did you have any luck finding the tome? My apologies. I'm afraid not. Say it is not so. Well, this is most unfortunate. One might conclude that it had been stolen. Actually... Professor, taking books out from these archives is strictly forbidden. And as you know, the keys to the vault are entrusted to only a select few. Quite honestly, it would be easier to steal the crown off the king's head. True. A hole. An impregnable vault. A disappearing tome. It would seem we have quite the mystery on our hands. And the mysteries of the world are meant to be solved. Or so the scholar in me says. Would you not agree? If it had been stolen, I would say it's a job for the city guard. But I can see you won't let it go until you crack the case. As it were. Indeed. <laughs> you could say that indeed. A habit I just can't seem to break. Once a puzzle is placed before me, I simply cannot rest until I've worked out a solution. I see. Well, far be it from me to stand in your way. It must be tough being a genius. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> I'll not deny it. Worry not. The tome will be back on the shelf before you can bat an eyelash. I'm sorry, Cyrus, but we're, we're way past that. Right. Thanks. Best of luck in your search. Time to do some research. And the game is afoot? Hmm. Now, where to begin my search? I suppose I should inquire with Mercedes as to where the keys to the library are stored. The guard at the front door would know who has been frequently frequenting the library lately, as might my fellow scholars. Then, mayhap, I should pay the headmaster a visit as well. Oh. 
So now we can scrutinize people. Let's see now. Of course I got a key to the archives. And no, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting my eyes, is all. But even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool would bother stealing a worthless tome anyway? Most intriguing. So this guard is a piece of shit. And now we have to talk to these people first. Ah. Let's see now. The key to the archives? Oh, I haven't got that. But I'm not surprised someone stole a tome, considering what they're worth. I've gambling debts myself, so I understand the temptation. Let's see now. Only Headmaster Yevon and the guard stationed outside should have a key to the library archives. So only the guard and the headmaster have a key. Whoop, I'm going the wrong way. No, am I? Maybe? Yes? I'm lost? There we go. <laughs> it's the sleepy fog in the brain. I mean, I know I yawn for a lifetime every time I stream, but that's always because I am a sleepy lad forevermore. No chests? Okay. No full well I have a key to the special archives, and that I would never be so foolish as to let it fall into the wrong hands. In any event, I have had no reason to peruse those tomes in quite some time. Splendid. Is that really? Who possesses keys to the be the headmaster and but the guard. Of course. There are only two keys to the archives, one belonging to the headmaster and one to the guardsman. Whose key was used to unlock it was the guards. The headmaster key is safely locked away in his office. Furthermore, he hasn't visited the archives today. On the other hand, the guard has been acting suspiciously of late, even sleeping while on active duty. Oh -ho. It would be all too easy a task to lift the key off his person. So is it possible that the guard is our man? No. Somebody uh, else. No. Yeah, he would have no motive. The culprit must be someone who understands the true value of the tome. Which is to say, one of my colleagues. And most likely, one who has accrued a frightful gambling debt. Which means that... Put it all together, and our villain is... Russell. Yes. Indubitably, that shifty scholar, Russell. Yes, I dare say my logic is foolproof. Shall we begin? Now all that remains is to find our man and make him confess to the crime. They do be calling me Sherlock Holmes sometimes. I mean, have you seen me play Shadows of Doubt? Have you seen my deductions on that game? 
pretty garbage if you ask me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Word has it, he's been doing his research underground these days. Now then. I think it's time I did some field work of my own. And so, I have taken it upon myself to investigate this suspicious scholar. Interested in coming along, are you? It seems you have quite the curious streak yourself. But of course, mysteries exist only to be solved. After all, it is of utmost importance to remember that. Ah, but there I go again. Don't let me talk your ear off. But I will be glad for your help. Let's get right to business then. No doubt we'll find Russell in his laboratory down below. Now, we have Cyrus on the team, who's a scholar, so. He's gonna die. <laughs> Subterranean study. Why the fuck would you study in this place? Healing grape. Oh no, there are lanterns with sickles. I am ready. Why'd you attack him? Victory shall be mine. Oh, you can see what they're weak to. What is the logical course of action? Oh my god, he's a fucking mage. Uh so let's see. If they're red, they had to be weak to Ice wind. If they're blue, they have to be weak. The fireball. Oh, but it hits all of them. Oh. Interesting. You fuckers. The double level up. Let's go. So that's our mage. Nice. Herb of Clamor. Or Clamor. It's a good day for oh no. It's the Skellies. I'm ready. So the two in the back are vulnerable to magic. The bot is not. Now, what next? Oh, flames! Rage! Okay, oh. they're they're not weak to uh, fire. Here I go. All right, we'll put the bat out a little bit. Man, quit attacking Cyrus, man! They're not weak to that. Uh. Thank you. Give me your money. What is the 
logical course of action. So the bats weak to ice. Oh my god, everyone's asleep. Well, everyone almost asleep. You're attacking the tank, bruh. This battle is truly Another level up for Cyrus. Ooh. Making that progress. All right, let's go back here. Ah, it goes up. Okay. I am ready. Let me see. They're not weak to that so we just get some free damage off scholar uh there's two ice so we'll go with fireball and then Got him. Got more than you bargained for. Whew, level five already, bruh. Calm down. The inspiring plume. Plum. Here I come. Ooh, these guys are lightning. Oh shit. I'm ready. No. So let's see. Out of my way. Um Oh ice. Yes, I'm through. Not gonna be ice. My turn now. It's not wind either. It's not going to be darkness. The battle is truly joined. Here I go. Thank you. Give me your money. Okay, so they're weak to arrows. Okay. Alright. With each battle, I grow strong. Me too, old Barak. Me too. Was Oberak? Oberak? I don't know. Looks like you're supposed to be able to go right there, but I guess not. We still gotta find a way to get that chest. That chest has my name all over it. And I need to know how to get it. Oh, that's interesting. The battle is truly joy. I like how it just gave me that they're weak to light and dark. And I have nothing for that, I think. Never mind. Have a taste of taste. I am ready. Nito, bring your shade. There we go. The show is over. Easy. 
Which, uh, me being stupid. I mean, we'll probably have to get lightning bolt. As much as I want to get lightning blast, uh, it does cost a lot of SP. So we're going to wait on that. And then we should have um, support skills for other people now, right? No? Only her? Huh. Interesting. I thought we would have more support skills by now. Uh, we don't need any of that. I like how they actually put someone there that you can buy items from. Oh no, it's lightning. Apparently, lightning has no, uh... How about you? I will cut you down! No weakness. <laughs> uh, to elements. I still got health. I'm ready. Oh no. Naito, bring your shade. How about you? I will cut you down. Let's do this. What is the rock? When they get that buff, I'm like, nah, not chance in it. Ah, here we go. Meanwhile, while this is playing, I'm gonna eat me a uh, Butterfinger. What? No, doesn't have voice lines. Arr. Professor Albright. Are you always in the habit of barging into your peers' offices while they're working? Yes. I mean, technically, because the office space I literally work in is a warehouse. And my office is literally open to everybody. <laughs> there is no walls. Excuse me. My apologies. I would have knocked, but I didn't see a door. A moment of your time. A propos of nothing. Mayhap you've heard that a certain tome was stolen from the archives. <laughs> I haven't the faintest clue what you're talking about. Come now. Come now, Russell. Playing dumb is just going to drag this out for the both of us. 
So let's cut straight to the heart of the matter. You are a thief. And I can prove it. Holy shit. Ah. What? The hells you can? The truth is... Unfortunately for you, at precisely the moment you were trying to sneak back with the key, your friend, the guardsman, was just waking from his little slumber. But that's impossible. He was asleep. I'm positively. Ah. Oh. I have no idea how you pronounce that word. <laughs> Keeping up on our friends Somnolence, are we, old chum? Absolutely. <laughs> it's funny how there's some words that pop up and I know them immediately. And then I get words like Somnolence on there. <laughs> It was a slip of the tongue, I tell you. I know nothing about this God's damn book. Is that so? Figured you say as much. Then perhaps you'd care to accompany me to the Academy. To prove your innocence, of course. Oh. Is it just me, or did it get a little windy in the cave? <laughs> Remember everybody, stay hydrated. Make sure you drink something. I'm about to uh, drink me a lemonade pouch. Guilty until someone else is proven guilty. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ah, uh, I love lemonade pouches. I know usually y'all can't tell because I would mute myself. But when I get to the... When I'm almost done with the lemonade pouch, I have to mute my mic so you don't hear the little slurping sounds from when I'm finishing it. <laughs> then I don't want it to me be on the stream and I just get to the bottom of it. It only came up a couple times on the mic. I thought it was going to be worse. <laughs> but damn it. Damn it all to hell. Look how windy it is in there. Also, I love how he has a fireplace in there. And the, uh, the chimney actually goes up through the floor. It was the perfect plan. If not for your bloody meddling, I could have had it all. Holy shit, look at this guy. Go 
logical course of action. is truly joined. I am ready. Funny how like everybody's like always has to fight over something. Okay, now we to darkness. What is the logical course of action? Uh, let's see. What to do? The battle is truly joined. My brain is unbending. I should wait on that. Naito, bring your shade. What to do? Bicycles. I'm ready. Uh, do I have a refreshing gem? Oh, it's for HP and SP to a single ally. Not what I'm looking for. Um, I was hoping I would have a. Uh, one of the ones for everybody. No. Here I go. How much money do I got? Nah, I don't want to pay ten thousand for that. <laughs> Weak to wind. Okay. Oh shit. What is the logical course of action? What is the logical course of action? Oh flames. Alright, we got rid of one of no we didn't. It looked like we did, but we didn't. Alright, so. I don't know if we can get more of these. Try this on the side. Ooh, they're weak to electricity too. <laughs> How about this? Holy shit. Oh no. No 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 no. You shut your mouth. Holy fuck. Let's try this. I'm ready. I'm surprised that I didn't hit Tressa. Uh, so now. Damn. 
Oh my god, I don't have enough, uh... There we go. Keeping uh, some of the people healthy. I forgot he's actually weak to... Uh... They're not weak to arrows. Okay. I can't believe those guys in the back are not dying. There we go, we killed one of them. Oh, oh shit, Primrose is about to go down. Thousand five hundred and sixty crows that paid us back way more for the hired help a while ago. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oof. I can't believe all of those almost hit him. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, Tressa. Cyrus. Cyrus doesn't have any charges. Primrose will be able to hit him four times.
Um, need her to heal herself. Him. Oh, ice. Yeah, Here I go. Uh. I don't have a I only have a light so so. Need to get charges on everybody. We're gonna have to break him again. Cause he has a huge freaking shield. Sucks is that she doesn't wield a weapon. Oh, but wait. Oh, that got him. Holy shit. That was dicey for a bit. That was actually getting a little weird. Especially when I couldn't kill the, uh, the little ice guys behind him. That was a bit sketchy. I Me, mean, my straw. Ouch. Where I never meant to. I just needed the money. Just so. That tome would fetch a small fortune. This is true. And yet, do you not for a moment consider the consequences? Say it is not so. In stealing that tome, you would steal from our students something more valuable than all the realm's riches. A grave crime, no matter who would perpetrate it, but all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. True. Thank you. Well, I'll be. You actually did crack the case of the stolen book. Indeed. That I did. And yet, I fear this may not be the only volume our friend had purloined. 
<laughs> Russell has already confessed to the full extent of his crimes and revealed the names of his business associates. We need only track down the books and purchase them back. I'll speak to the guards and see that we redouble security of the archives. How about replacing the fucker that was guarding the key anyway? What's this? It says there's another book still missing. Did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? Ah, in the far reaches of hell. No, I can assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. Russell's aggressive borrowing only extends some two years back. I see. So this volume was lost or stolen long before that. Yes. Right as always, Professor. I mean, no shit. <laughs> I mean, 15 minus 2 is 13 years. Uh. Right, tell me more about From the Far Reaches of Hell. According to our records, it would seem to be a compendium of ancient rites and long-lost magics. Actually... If I am not mistaken, it was a single, oldest volume housed within our archives. Needless to say, it was a tremendous loss. Most intriguing. Oh ho! Yet another mystery, it would seem. Professor Albright. The headmaster will speak with you at once. This awesomeness. Again? What could it be this time? <laughs> Perhaps he plans to commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. I have no interest in accolades, but if he insists... Yeah, look at that team. Just in case. Because I can fucking trust that headmaster as far as I can throw him. Which, depending on what kind of grapple I get him in, will depend on how far I can throw him. Uh... Let's see. We need to go to the inn. Yay. Let's rest. Ah, uh, bedge. And now. Should we just get him the oak staff? Say fuck it. <laughs> I mean, that's a big increase to his uh, magic. But if we give him the quartz rod, he has a little more evasion as well. So he'll get plus 30 elemental attack with this. He'll get 60 elemental attack with this. But you get evasion as well. Hmm. 
We'll just get him the quartz rod. We need to give him a shield too, so. Everybody gets a shield. Um. We're keeping the black attire. And then I think that's it. None of these shops have had any accessories. Too bad, not too bad. We got everybody nice and uh, set up now. So now let's go meet up with uh, Headmaster. We go. I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Why did that sound Good. like Texas speech? Enter. <laughs> Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. True. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. What? Oh. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. It is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order. Yeah, balderdash. 
I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. What? A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sunk. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. And surely you understand. This is bullshit. And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Dude, she literally sounds like a text-to-speech. Uh, <laughs> Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey in search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. True. This place is a bunch of bullshit. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? No, you know, we don't share our information with our peers. Uh, so that means you are not in the need to know, Headmaster. As regards a certain tone. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. Yeah, fuck off, bitch. An enigma as ever, that one. Hmm. Yeah, now why don't you go sit at your desk with your fucking assistant underneath the desk, bitch. Professor! It's fucking Therese. Oh, Therese. You're the one what that fucking started the rumor. I... I heard that you were leaving the academy. Then you heard true. Professor, I'm, I'm so sorry. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. You, you knew? I mean, you kind of just gave it away. Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet... I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? You're always helping her highness, answering her every question. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. Oh God, here we go. And that's why you went to the headmaster. I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Worry not, my dear. 
It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. Indeed, I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. My studies? She was really hoping she was going to get the D. Oh, she's getting a D, all right. A D in class. <laughs> I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, her highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was also eager to answer them. In doing so, they have given the impression that I favored her above you and others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. Look at his fucking stance. Like, he has that weird, like, hold on. How, how can I word it? It's, uh... Uh, I don't know how to call that stance. I see it all the time, but I, I don't know what it's fucking, like, what it's called. But it's like the fucking anime girl just fucking, like, leaning towards you with her hands together and shit. And the legs are almost, like, buckled. And then look at the wind. Just flowing his cape. But fuck hers, right? Fucking wind. I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are. He is not. <sighs> he is not picking up what she's putting down. <laughs> um, Professor. Perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yes? Never mind. In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will, will I ever see you again? Yeah, maybe. I do not see why not. Provided we both still live. Ah, stuck on a corner. Ah, uh, yes, we save. Hi ho! Fare thee well then. Ooh. Oh my god. That's how you fucking get shit from people. Uh, sure. If we could just find people to get, like, accessories from. Uh, she needs... This. As a user of the bow.
396. Uh, sure. He should probably get uh actually our tank I need one of these. Ah, it sucks. I got a summon. <laughs> now, I must find out all I can about from the far reaches of hell. My erstwhile colleague, Debt, knows more about arcane studies than anyone I know. True. Last I heard, she sojourned in quarry. I should begin my journey there. Meow. Yeah. Are we being followed? Oh, it's the crow. The guy with the crow on his neck, I think. And so Cyrus left the academy behind in search of the lost tome from the far reaches of hell what dark secrets might its pages hold only the gods know and whoever has the fucking book <laughs> uh, we now go on an adventure I see, I see, I see. So, Naito, bring your shade. My turn now. No. That's an apothecary? Oh. Night bring your shade. Here I go. Damn, still alive. What is the logical course of action? Break the other one, Let's just get it out of the way. Oh that shit. Get rid of that one. The battle is there we go. Each battle, I grow strong. Easy. Cyrus with the level up. Getting an adult wart. And uh, another plum. Per usual.
Wait, Tressa just picked up money left by a dead person. The Whistlewood? I mean, I guess that's taking us to where we need to go, right? Fifteen hundred. Are we able to take these guys out? I am ready. Unfortunately, these guys are weak to an axe, and we don't have anyone that uses that. Holy shit. Or other weakness. Here I go. Oh, ice. That one's weak to dagger, all right. Try this on for size. Ooh, nice. Fights. Victory Holy shit. Shall be mine. With each battle, I grow stronger. Oh, I love the environment. A silver sword? Hell yeah. Wait, how much better is that? Damn, 12 more speed and 30 more attack. Hold on. So let's see. Okay, nobody uses an axe. I just had to make sure. Oh no. Here I go. You see. Ooh, that's a lot of damage.
is unbending. I will cut you down. Hey, I can't believe that guy hasn't died yet. Let's do this. We need to use a grape. Let me help. Our poor guy over here. Well, what next? of the frogs not right now at least i don't know what the danger level is here actually i've done my research on you victory shall be mine How did you all slip and fall? So much fucking damage. Damn. I should have used her to heal. Stay strong. We need to heal Oberic. Got rid of two of them. Got some money from him. I am ready. It's definitely gonna need the money to help pay for some of these items. I grow strong. Oh yeah, that danger level jumped up by four. Wouldn't be a bad idea to grind some levels out. Actually, if we can leave ready. this fight. No? Uh. I'm 
Nighthold, bring your shade. Rid of them. Shall be <laughs> um. Spiriting Plum. Time to teach you a lesson. Why can't we just go home? <laughs> Why are we stuck in this? Attack the people with more health will be okay. Tressa. Damn it, I was hoping to get Tressa to steal. Oh well, we need to get over here. We need to rest at the inn. Uh, where the hell was the inn at again? I don't know. Oh, it's over here. Literally past it. At least we uh, stole quite a bit of money too. Cause that uh, we were almost at nothing. But we were heading into a level 15 area with our highest. Shall I tell you a secret? Truth is, I've been asked to cook for the king himself. I do not lack for confidence in my skills. Alas, I can't seem to get my hands on the ingredients I need most. I want only the best milk, crab, and eggs. A flying helm? Uh, sure. Let's 
see. Nope. We need eggs. Cause I got the milk. We need crabs and eggs. What her? I collect great works of art, and this particular artist has been a favorite of mine lately. The tr only trouble I have is that this artist is quite particular and refuses to paint anything but landscapes. Still, I wish I could find more of his work. If only I could track down more examples. Huh. Interesting. found the milk. Where the fuck are the eggs and crab? <laughs> Holy shit, he has like really expensive stuff on here. There's somebody up there. Uh, first, let's um, there we go. Nobody has it. Nobody has crabs and eggs. I highly doubt anybody in here is selling anything. Nothing in here? I oh, don't know, it seemed a little too secret to not have anything. Alright. Ugly ass picture. Burn it. Alright, so... Actually, let's try going to back here. Cause that's more likely where you're gonna. Oh, fucking accidentally left. Uh, it's more likely where you will find crab, right?
Holy crap, some of the shit they sell. This guy doesn't have anything. Holy shit. Ugh. Why can't he seem to understand? The same stubborn fool has proposed to me ten times over, you see. Every time I turn him down, and every time he runs home, crying all the way. What woman in her right mind would want to marry such a spineless and fragile man? Not me, that's for sure. I shouldn't be going out here. Not yet. They even checked everywhere. I guess my best way to get freaking soul stones is basically buying them off of people. Really, there's nobody selling crab over here? My name is Leman, adventurer extraordinaire. Perhaps you've heard of me. Nope. No? A shame that. Anyhow, I am just about to set out on a journey of a lifetime. Hark! Can you hear it? That's the sound of the great unknown calling out to me. And yet, can you believe it? I seem to be completely unequipped for my adventure. A young friend, could you help a great adventurer prepare for the journey of a lifetime? I guess that's what this is, right? I guess that's what it is. <laughs> This is, this is precisely the sort of equipment a great adventurer like myself needs. It cannot be that you prepared all of this for my sake, can it? Forgive me to have a complete stranger go to such lengths for me. And yet, since you have already gone to such lengths, would it not be more rude for me to not refuse your generosity now? You don't mind, do you? But can you at least pay me back? Thank you. You are no stranger. No. From today, we are fast friends. Now that I'm fully equipped, it's time I set out to discover a new continent. Hear me now. O oh, thou vast and uncharted world, I am Leman, and I venture unto thee. <clears throat> Anyhow, I have a feeling our paths will cross again one day. Farewell, friend of my heart. Fifteen hundred crows and a fortifying nut. Well, it's a good thing I got like three times the money. It's a slippery nut. 
<laughs> oh god. Just hit that nut button. A dragon's scarf? Rare stone. A resistant nut. Beastly scarf. Greetings to you. Oh, yeah, that guy. I'm a fruit connoisseur. Oh, no, that's the end. The truth is, you know, I have this friend. His name is Lemon. He's always wanted to be an adventurer. But between the two of us, he can't even tie his shoelaces without someone's help. And every time that he gets down in the dumps, it always falls to me to give him the push he needs to get moving again. I hate to tell you, man, but I just gave him an adventurer's kit and he's about to fucking go all out. A merchant of unknown origins involved in a mysterious trade the goods he sells and how he obtains them are also a secret and he has a hidden item so what does that do for me though <laughs> so nothing came of this area so why not head to cobblestone see what's going on over there if they have any eggs 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 glass marble sturdy shield Iron vest. Wait, how much was that? Ah, uh, too much money for me right now. A broadsword. Oh, I got a silver sword now, right? My sweet, wherefore art thou, Lori? I came to this village just searching for my Lori, but I'm told she's already left. came back from a long sea journey and brought back a bag of curious seeds. It would be a shame not to plant them, so I'm thinking of clearing land and making a new field. But you need manure to prepare forest soil. Would you mind fetching me some? And why don't you just go behind that sheep and fucking pick up their shit? Asshole. Fucking lazy ass people. Thank you. 
me see. No. No. Where's all the goods? A falcon dagger, huh? Oh no, they got a fur robe. Who is this person? Oh. Alas, no one turns their head at my dancing. I cannot catch anyone's eye. Dancing is nothing but a sorrow. Maybe it's time I hang up my dance shoes. But before I do, I want to stand on that stage and dance with grace one more time. I guess that means we better have to go in here, right? Ooh, a protective earring. A commemorative coin. That means we need to get the, uh, we need to get our, uh, old stink, our steely boy. The thief. Would you look at that? That useless saw is our hired arm. He's supposed to keep the peace when our customers get a bit rowdy. But all he does is drink, not work. His coin disappears as quickly as the sands in an hourglass. Maybe if someone actually bested him in a fight for once, he learns to take his position with a bit more gravity. Me? Are you mad? Have you seen the size of him? I couldn't beat someone like that in a fight. Wait, who are we talking about? Well met, Traveler. What can I do for you? I bought this tavern. Managing it isn't easy, but it's worth the effort to see the smiles on my customers' faces. Well, at least we know that somebody just bought it. Cheers, Mike. This is a business. Even if the tavern's changed hands, it means not to us. We've plenty of work to do. Damn, if they don't serve the best L here. Er, and who are you? You looking for a dance? I'll take you on, sweetheart. Oh no, we can't beat him yet. We can't beat that guy yet. Actually. Um... Dude. 
That's actually not bad. Ooh. There we go. Now we got some skills being equipped. We do need to probably find another dagger at some point. Remember if there's anything we missed down here. Probably got it all actually. So when it says that, how do I know where this is? The last dress a certain dancing star worn stage. It sounds important. What if that's for the blue dancer? I mean, that's a fucking hefty price. Yeah, here you go. What is this? This dress. It's beautiful. It's really just stunning. It looks just like the dress worn by a great dancer I used to look up to ever so much. How nostalgic to think of it now. When I first came here to this tavern, I practiced so desperately to try to dance as she did. Things were so awful here, but the dancing, I always did love the dancing. I've been dancing so many years now, but I wonder if I ever got close to her level at all. It's like a dream come true to get to wear this dress just like hers and dance on the stage as she did. <laughs> I suppose it is time for my last cue. Thank you. And then we got 1500 and a wind amulet. That sucks. That actually is a little less than what we paid for the dress. <laughs> actually, now that he has um, cover we should be putting this stuff on him. So he has more physical and elemental defense. down there myself but I hear the passage just past here leads out somewhere in the sands interesting so you see my memory is a blank slate all I can remember is the name Layla and yet I can't help but feel that someone out there is calling to me Someone who needs me. We gotta keep note of her. Cause then that means there's somebody that's looking for her. Ah. 
Plants that grow in southern lands produce fine spices to use for cooking. Even the most flavorless dishes can be imbued with the flavorful taste of the southern lands. They are wondrous spices. Hello. You know, life is full of suffering. Life itself is the harshest stage we will ever stand upon. But even if you stumble upon that stage, you must climb to your feet again and continue dancing. Someday, someday you will get your reward. Like how there's uh, the little thing to show that how they escaped through the window earlier. Hey, thanks. Ah, you're here again. Well, thanks to you, I was able to pull off my greatest performance ever. I was able to dance my last dance in that dress. It is a memory I will treasure all my life. Now I have no regrets left. Is that the end of her story? Huh. Huh. All right then. So. Might not be having to go through the the woods. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But I not head back over there. Now we should have less encounters. Thanks to our uh, evasive maneuvers boy over here. Soulstone, all right. Noble Court and Flames Grace. So we do have to go this way. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? Your itches. Okay, um. Oh god, there's ant lions. Not weak to arrows, though. Not weak to daggers. Not weak to the greatsword. They are weak to that. Alright, we gotta work on destroying these guys. Be gone, and lion. What to do? What to do? Ooh, the counter attack. Hell yeah. Primrose with the level up. Hell yeah. How do I get that? Can I 
I go this way. Ooh, that was a that was a uh, medium. Oh, we gotta go this way. Okay. Poor Primrose, she must be fucking freezing right now. Ooh, that chill music. Literally, chill. <laughs> wondering where is she spotting this money that's being left behind <laughs> oh what the fuck vulnerable to lightning got it Ooh, some of them are weak to fire Not weak to wind. Up. Uh, hello? Sound? Oh, sounds back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. The Horfrost Grotto. Yeah, level 25. That's not, not staying in there. The critical nut. Like, where is this money that's being spotted? I would like to know because I would like to collect it. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. We surprised them. They're weak to axes, bows, probably fire. Oh, flames. Well, one of them is. Here I go. I'm ready. The battle is weak to the great sword, all right? Or weak to swords in general? Not that one. Weak to dagger, okay. Yeah, let's put some more fire on him. Yep, see ya. We 
are in desperate need of money. Cyrus with the level up. The slippery nut. Nut, 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 nut. Look at the squirrel. With his nuts. Most of them. The battle is cut. I am ready. I am ready. Victory. No. With each battle, I grow Easy. stronger. Squirrel with a nut. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> I fucking went all the way past it. I missed the turn. We have to go back. <laughs> Animals, leave me alone. I am ready. Victory shall be mine. Let's do this. Attack the other one. What is the logical course of action? Oh, flames! Rain! Rock! What to do? to make Ulrich the ultimate beast or the pomegranate essence being collected okay so now we're back here we took the wrong route somewhere
We gotta go this way. Let us fight with honor. You motherfuckers. I am ready. It looks like using electricity is the best option for this fight. Let's do this. The battle is truly joy. One of them's already turned into dust. Oh shit. Oh, darkness. So now we're back in this area. Tressa, just pick up the money. Don't leave it laying on the floor. Oh, is this it? some of these guys. I am ready. The battle is truly joyful. I will cut you down. Okay, it's good to get everything else out of the way. Break him. To light me. Let's do this. It's not weak to pose. Oh, Holy okay. shit. Holy shit, I don't have. thing is like a mini boss it's 
it's not weak to fucking darkness either. It's not fucking weak to ice, is it? No. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's fucking dumb. I just need her to get more stacks. Holy shit. Time to go to the inn as soon as possible. We made it. But where is the save point? Save point's down there. That is going to be it for my uh, bonus stream. Three hours, not bad. It kind of added with the, uh, the one from earlier. It's almost an eight hour stream, so. Not, not too bad, I say, right? So that will be it for now. Uh, I will be back later tonight uh, after I get some sleep. So uh, thank you for anyone that came by and was lurking or, you know, whatever. Uh, I usually don't do early streams. <laughs> I'm usually a late night streamer. Uh, so, you know, thank you all for stopping by. And I hope uh, to see you all next time. Bye-bye.
Thank you.